And Matt is here now looking at our local climate for the weekend. It's yeah. a big weekend with Hood to Coast this weekend. A lot going on, yeah. And the runners will have pretty good weather. I know there's concern about air quality because of the haze out there. But don't be too concerned about that. Here's a, here's a look at Mount Hood right now where all the runners will be starting as we go into tomorrow morning. Well, that looks nice. And you'll be looking at a scene like this as well because it should be pretty much as clear. Although we got to watch radar really carefully. There is a chance that we get a shower or a thunderstorm in the early morning hours. So runners take the rain jacket with you just in case. It'll be brief, but the morning hours up in the mountain, there is that chance. 67 up at Timberline. Right now, out of the coast, we're every well close to where everybody will finish up the beach, seaside, even hazy offshore here. It's been wildfire smoke from several sources, but it's pleasant. 68 northwest winds at 12 miles an hour. So the hood to coast forecast, we'll call it hazy and hot inland. But again, there is that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm up at Mount Hood for the start tomorrow morning. Chance isn't great, but it does exist. We'll get a few clouds here and there. For the most part, though, I think the run overall, you're going to have good weather and dry weather. It'll be hot as you descend into Portland. So the worst case scenario is you start in a shower and then you end in the heat, right? But hopefully it doesn't go that way for the runners overnight in the 50s and 60s. As we go Friday night and into Saturday morning, of course, warmest in the city. Cooler as you get out in the coast range and the coast on Saturday should be beautiful in the 70s and lots of sunshine. Sunrise tomorrow morning at 623, depending on, you know, you know gauge your start time and the daylight you will have accordingly. And then sunset tomorrow is at 801. This is our last eight o'clock or later sunset of the year. We don't get another one of those until, wait for it, the 17th of April. So enjoy that, right? Now, I mentioned the air quality. It's all mainly in the good category. One of the sensors here up in northwest Multnomah County has gone down to the moderate category. Same around Salem, but the really bad air can find areas close to the fires in uh, the southern uh, part of the Willamette Valley and down around Medford and Jackson and Josephine County. Now, I mentioned thunderstorms, right? They're popping over Lake County right now. Not very close to us, but we're beginning to get some over the Cascades here and a few more south of Medford, and these will continue to develop and march northward overnight. So again, there is that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm for the start of Hood to Coast. On the satellite imagery, you don't really see the smoke until you zoom in or focus rather on the fire here. But there was smoke offshore from fires in northern BC. That's kind of rotated around. That's why the coast is having some haze. And then the fire is still burning up around Spokane in southern BC. Fire weather warnings up because of the fact that we've got hot weather. We've got low humidity. We've got some pretty good east winds developing, especially in the gorge. But also that threat of thunderstorms that is developing that I mentioned. Active fire is burning right now all around the region. That is the big Smith complex that is bubbled around over across the Oregon border. Not that it really matters in terms of smoke, but it is a big one, about 50,000 acres or so. Our smoke forecast doesn't look that bad. This is all upper level haze, but you can see some offshore there as the southerly winds a lot will continue all weekend. Our high today is 94. Probably would have been 95 or 96 without the haze. It does shave a degree or two off. 88 in Pendleton, 89 in Eugene, Bend 86 and 60s and 70s on the coast, but Astoria made 82. So again, here's the weather system that's spinning offshore. You can see the showers and thunderstorms bubbling north as we get a disturbance off the coast of California pushing our way. And the thunderstorm threat for tomorrow includes the Portland area and even the north coast. That's for the early morning hours. Then that will end as we go into the later part of the day. But there's the moisture rolling northward on the modeling after that should be pretty good. There's a slight chance again on Saturday that we see that. But after that, we're going to see dry weather at least until Tuesday of next week. All right, 93 right now, freezing level 13,300 feet. Overnight tonight will be generally clear, but then the clouds will begin to develop after midnight. Maybe a sprinkle in the morning, even here in town. Then sunny and hazy with high tomorrow of 89. And it will shave a couple degrees off because of the cloud cover. 93 on Saturday and then beginning to cool off Monday 85 and Tuesday some actual showers may show up. And we just want to say good luck to the KGW Hood to Coast team. Alma McCarty, John Goodwin, our GM Steve Carter, all of them. Good luck guys. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun for those guys. Great event. Thank you, Matt.